In 2017, I, with a few of my colleagues at Environmental Progress, took a meeting with the French, uh, I would say energy ministry, but no, it's the um, Ministry of Ecological Transition is the ministry overseeing the life and death critical engineered system we call the grid. Yeah, that is, it is uh, Ministry of Ecological Transition for one of the lowest carbon countries in Europe. They need a ecological transition ministry, right? To help reduce the amount of energy that's just like available when people need it. So we go in there and I'm trying to make final arguments for Fessenheim. We just heard from the plant managers out in Fessenheim that, nah, don't worry about it. Even though we shouldn't shut this plant down, it's going to be so devastating to France that they'll never make us shut another plant down. That was the actual argument from the plant directors at dinner over wine and cheese. Was, don't worry about this shutdown of this necessary reactor. It will be so painful and devastating to the, to the government, to France, that they won't make us do it again. Boy, how right they were there. Anyway, so we go to we go to the energy ministry because that just didn't sit right with us. Something felt wrong. And when we met with the unions they, and the mayor of Fessenheim, they definitely had a different take on it than, oh, no, kill our whole livelihoods and destroy our towns. It's fine because there will be so much suffering in France that another town won't have it happen too. Yeah, no, they didn't want to be martyrs. The unions and the mayor didn't want to be martyrs, but martyrs they were made. In 2017, though, there was still this idea in our heads, this crazy idea that we could delay the shutdown. We go to the energy ministry and we sit down with some officials. We sit at a table and I lay out the case that it's good not to close your nuclear plants because you'll need this clean energy. Even though electricity prices are low this year, you'll want it and it makes you a lot better than Germany. And then they say, well, uh, we have a carbon plan in place and the carbon plan says it's okay to shut this plant down. And then I say, okay, well, but Fessenheim could power about 3.2 million electric vehicles at, if they're Renault Zoe's and they are powered and driven as normal French electric cars are, you can power 3.2 million throughout the year. And, and I, I, I shit you not, the ministry official looks at me and says, oh, electric vehicles, that's transportation policy. They have their own decarbonization plan. <laughs> 